alongside the large pebbly beach between Xilokostro and Sikia, we can find the pine forest of Pevkias. It is a green strip of land which spreads across 245 square kilometers. Pevkias is a natural pine forest which is 150 years old with local as well as foreign species of trees such as myrtle trees, willow trees, holly trees and furzes. Moreover, some of the local tree spa species include pine cone trees, cypress trees, judas trees, locust trees, palm trees, oleander trees, wild olive trees. We shouldn't forget to mention some foreign types of trees which can be found in the forest such as eucalyptus trees and wild pine trees. Despite the implanting of foreign tree species, the prevailing impression is that Pevkias is a natural pine forest. Many different bird species have been observed in Pevkias, the most common ones being nightingales, swallows, goldfinches, blackbirds and seagulls. Last but not least, hundreds of insects that have not yet been listed can be found in Pevkias. This is an ideal place for walking, jogging while enjoying the fragrances of a wide range of flowers and plants. The lovers of hiking and jogging will have the opportunity to explore different paths of the pine forest, cool themselves with fresh water from one of the drinking fountains, and rest on one of the many wooden benches scattered in the forest. When the weather is nice, visitors can do activities such as swimming, fishing, tennis and kite surfing. What makes Pevkia so special is the fact that it is one of the few forests which combine a clean sea, a lovely seaside, a lush forest, which are within walking distance from the residential area. We shouldn't forget to mention that in the forest there is also a small church dedicated to Santa Barbara. The popular poet Kostos Karyotakis has referred to Pevkias as the green seaside of our homeland. Another well-known Greek poet, Agilos Kelianos, was inspired by the pine forest. The last one used to live in a villa at the end of the forest, which is one of the most amazing sites of Pevkias, as well as the landmark of Xilogosto. The Villa of Angelos Sikelianos is open for visitors and can be reached through a road that leads to a big holiday complex. This estate was bought by the wife of Angelos Sikelianos in 1908 and the construction of the villa was completed in 1916. Many intellectuals of that time had been hosted there. Its architectural design brought together various elements from the ancient Greek architecture as well from the Byzantine and the Venetian era. From the top of the terrace, one can enjoy the spectacular view of Corinthiakos Bay. In 1930, due to financial difficulties, it had to be auctioned. 
During the Second World War, it was used as the headquarters of the Italian and the German military forces, while during the Greek Civil War, it was the command center of rebels. In 1996, it was listed by the current Minister of Culture, Melina Mercuri, among the Greek cultural heritage sites. Περάσαμε όμορφα. Περάσαμε όμορφα.